Hello friends, my name is Rajiv and in this video I will show you how to use Renderbox. Renderbox is a uh, rendering managing software where you can manage your batch renders from your 2D and 3D application and uh, yeah, I'll uh, show you how to use that software in this video. So first you can download this uh, software from technicaldirector.in slash Renderbox and it's free. So you can just uh, click on free download and uh, download now. So uh, once you download that, then uh, you will get a exe, something like that. Okay. And uh, just double click on that. And uh, no need to do anything. Just uh, click on next, accept. Yes, yes. And it will install and configure everything. It will work for it will do it for you so you just install that okay and uh, click on launch render box and it will launch okay so here your software you can see this okay so this is the home screen of render box where you can see uh this is the rendering progress uh what how many uh shots are on render box so it will shows that 100 percent why because in job manager i added two shots and all these two shots are done so that's why it shows me that rendering process is 100 percent done and it uh, shows my cpu uses and memory uses okay pretty straightforward and also you can see here that how many jobs you send and how many jobs are completed so this is your home screen which shows these information now we move to job manager and here uh, you will see all your job which you sent for rendering okay and also you can select that and you can uh, there are a few options like if you want to check the log then you will go to the third window so you just right click and select log and you can read the log or whatever thing if you want to investigate more inside uh, what's the rendering process what's the other things at all so it's okay it's for you yeah and uh, there is option for preview and once you click on that you can find that uh, the, your all image sequence will load in tgv player so it's very handy and uh, you can uh, open folder you can see where your renders are saved and you can start it again stop and remove this job after that so you can play around with these options these are very handy okay and also i will show you the live example how to send jobs here so yeah this uh, log viewer as i mentioned before uh, it just shows the uh, the log related to this particular selected job here you can see the uh, software name and the scene uh, scene name so yeah you can uh, zoom in and zoom out this text like with your control plus scroll okay and third option is a task manager which is um, it's a it's a simply a task manager which you can find in your system also but it will show you only uh, process only related to the rendering process or uh, 3d and 2d application stuff so it's a filter of your major uh, like windows task manager so it, it this will filter only the uh, vfx related softwares so that that also will see that okay and uh, there is a oh, uh, menu up top of that and uh, this is the main uh, you can uh, check the updates from here like if <coughs> you will uh, you are using 1.0 if suppose any new version is there you can find out the download link here also you can see all these four options here in the top so yeah you can just if you collect from select from here or there it's okay it's the same thing here you can find out the preference configuration so by default all the renders will go to the c render box directory but uh, if you want to save your renders in any other location on network or any other drive like td or any any drive you can change it here and your render will go on those folders and uh, yeah uh, for 1.0 these uh, this uh, options are not active so just forget this in 2.0 th these options will be start so just stick with that okay. 
uh, in the help section you can find documentation so you can just uh, click on that and that documentation is in local so no need to have an internet connection in your system so you can find out uh, the installation guide you can see that how to install this plugin for Maya like you can see that uh, you can copy the render box uh, folder and user setup mail from C plugins Maya directory here. Okay, and this is also for Blender also. So I'll show you where it is. Okay. So you can see in your C program files render box folder. So there is a plugin folder. Here you can see that Maya plugin. And also there is a text file which uh, help you so how to all you need is just copy this and paste it your Maya script folder and same with blender you can just copy this and paste in your uh, program files add-on and you will see the render box inside your application how you will see let's see so let me start uh, with the Maya first mm. Okay. Okay. So Maya, in 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 Maya, you can see that uh, there is MX Studio option uh, menu there, and in that you can find out the render box. You can click on that, and uh, it will open a new window that is render box launcher, and it's dockable window, so you can just dock it here if you want. Okay and uh, yeah so if you want to send your file to render box first you have to save your file so without saving it will not send a render to render box so for now uh, i will just add a polygons and some spear okay and let's just save this file youtube test version 001 okay so this is my file which is saved now i can just simply send that job and also i can add some description here uh, this is for vfx pipeline in draw okay send job to render box so first we need to do some settings also like uh, change that to uh, start frame and frame any mm, number kind of uh, if uh, and 10 frame it's okay so your these settings uh, your scene settings you have to set up properly according to your uh, setup or your scenes requirement and instead of uh, starting that uh, traditional render batch render you can just send to uh, render box and you can find out the uh, your file is sent to render box and done you can minimize that go to the job manager and here you can see from Maya 2015 there is a file which is launched and the file description is this is VFX pipeline intro and you can see the scene name also and that file is queued that is not rendering right now okay now to start that you can just select right click and start and your render is starting it's depend on your machine how much time it will take to start the batch render and depend on the size also okay so now you can see that uh, your file is WIP and the status will automatically update and as your renders will uh, going on you can see the progress bar to see that how many frames are going on you can anytime just select and uh, stop this and uh, suppose this time the power cut happen or your system crash or anything happen your render will still remember what's the last frame this is rendering and if you want to see you can check also you can check the folder and right now if uh, this is the render 4 which is done properly but render 5 is not done and it's not uh, it's uh, it's not tip file it's not not rendered properly so once you start 
the render again start it okay so now you can see that it start from the same position from uh, 4 and 5 so it's not starting from frame 1 or where it is starting okay so it's easy to remember where is your last frame and you can utilize your time to do some more stuff related to creative uh, instead of these uh, repetitive tasks okay so now these are the 10 frames and uh, here we can see that our 10th frame is going on and after that our progress bar definitely update to 100 percent and uh, it says that this is done okay so this is pretty simple now let's see uh, how we can use this with blender so i have a scene here which is just nothing it's a torus and cubes uh, when you are in blender you can uh, first you have to copy the add-on and uh, go to user preferences and in user preferences you can see that add-on and uh, here you can see the render box yeah render box and just uh, click on that so once you you're done with that you will see inside your render panel in the last you can see the render box launcher is there okay like that now you can set your start frame and end frame for like for now I will set to 5 to 15 and uh, VFX pipeline blender and if you want to uh, send your render to any customized path you can use uh, output path but otherwise it will send to the default location and that you can easily track from render box so submit to render box okay file is sent to render box good now come back and we'll see that our vfx pipeline blender is there and it's cute and also i can uh, show you here like when i started this render at uh, 28 august and uh, 3 8 45 now you can see that 3 11 so whatever the start frame and end frame you can easily uh, see that and also you, if you want to see the file path where the file is saving uh, you can just see that okay so here we have our blender file which is cute and also in home location you can see that this is now 75 percent so it's calculating basically according to the all the jobs which are uh, queued or done on the render box job manager you can just select and start that and then now it's a starting WIP and also the status will update pretty soon and uh, yeah you can see that your CPU uses also if you go to the task manager and uh, it will show you the process which is going on okay uh, 40 percent 90 percent and this is done okay and anytime you if you don't want your renders to see here you can just remove and it will clear all the renders from your job manager okay so this is it for your rendering task use it and also share your feedback and uh, also if you found any bug or any error or anything you can just uh, email me or just comment here below this video or comment uh, in the introduction video it's okay this is the first version of render box so i know there will be a lot of uh, mistakes in this but i will try to remove all the mistakes and i will make this software more and better usable for all the cg artists render box 2.0 will be coming soon with some other software package supports like 1.0 comes with the maya and blender support and 2.0 will come with houdini and nuke support and uh, i will try to add the software as soon as possible with all these features to add more uh, uh, useful features for the cg artist and uh, please subscribe this channel if you support 
free softwares because this software is completely free you can use it for anything you can use it for learning purpose or any production purpose commercial purpose non-commercial purpose any anything you can use it just go and download it from www.technicaldirector.in slash render box okay so thank you guys to watch this video and to use this software and uh, i hope i will see you soon so take care guys bye bye